So, um, okay, we're gonna get started on our feet. So, hi everyone, I'm Bianca. I'll be getting you through class today. Um, we're gonna get starting to move right away just because it's Friday, get all that energy going. Um, so with that, we'll get started with a strap and we'll, we'll get on with the breath in a moment, but let's start with this first. So stand with your feet hips width apart, bend your knees and then inhale, reach the strap up, straighten the knees and then just look up and then try to send the strap all the way back as you find your back bend. So I'll show you the side view. Yeah, good Brett. So you're really just opening up through the chest, the underarms, the back and then exhale, sit back down into your chair. Just let the arms relax. Good, inhale, stand up. Big stretch, just open up the shoulders. Look up. Yeah, good. Exhale, bend into your chair. Let the arms rest. We got one more. Inhale, stand up. Lean into it. Purpose here is open up through the underarms, the chest. This next time, bend the elbows and take the hands fully back behind you. Floss the shoulders. Good, good, Caitlin. Inhale up, exhale straight in front. So let's keep that going. Inhale, reach up, exhale, strap to the back. Keep, keep it moving. Just really trying to work your range of motion here. We'll be using that later. You can start to bend through the elbows if that helps. On the inhales, you'll lift the arms. On the exhales, hey Lori. All right, inhale, arms back up. And then listen carefully, bend your right elbow as you point your left hand to the sky. Yeah, and then other side. Bend your left elbow Take your other fist up. Good, let's keep doing that. So bend your opposite arm. Start to get into the side body here. Good, and the other side. One last on each side. You really emphasize the bend. Maybe your bent elbow goes towards your rib, taking it up and over, and then other side. All right, then from here, widen the hands away from one another, and then just keep doing your shoulder extensions or rather rotations. This time the strap barely comes over your head, so it's like grazing like the first top inch above your head. Yeah, so this will open up a different side of the shoulders, different part of the back. One last. And then gather your hands about shoulder width distance into the strap, towel, belt, whatever you have. All the way up. And then think of hugging the ribs in. So can you find that motion of ribs hugged in? And then take a side bend over to the right. Yeah, good. This should feel really good after a long week. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale to the other side. Yeah, good, Lori. Inhale up, then take your head to the back of the strap. Please support it, and then find your back bend here. So imagine that you're resting on like a hammock and then supporting yourself into this like upper neck, the upper extension. And then exhale, fold all the way down. You can keep the strap behind the head if, you, if that feels good to you. So it's a little bit of like an assist bend the knees and then just hover in your forward fold if that doesn't work for you just let the strap go start to sway side to side or maybe just use your hands like what lori's doing just instead of the strap just interlace the hands behind your head stay here stay low stay folded forward good and then inhale rise back up with your strap then take your right hand up to the sky, start to bend through the elbow, and then walk your other hand up the strap. So I'll show you the back view here. 
starting to open up the triceps and the front of your shoulder. Yeah, good. And then if you can, just try to point the elbow up and down. Notice if there's any tightness there in the left shoulder. Yeah, looking good. Breathe into it a little more. If you're just catching up, take your time. You need a strap, undo yourself, and then go the other side. Bend your left elbow now. Start to look for the strap behind you, underneath you, and then find this kind of hug of the biceps into the ears. And then keep walking your hand up the strap so you really feel a stretch and you're able to maybe connect the hands eventually, but don't force anything. Yeah, good. All right, and then release. Take the strap back up and over you. About, sh about shoulder width or hips with distance. Take a deep breath in, and then start to find your spinal rotations all the way down, up, around. So use the strap as leverage to pull against each other so you really kind of get into the corners of your body all the way sides back um, forward all right and then switch directions so going the other way so almost like a very active kind of intro warm-up and then when you're ready face the front of your mat lower the knees find your tabletop Hopefully that was a good kind of exercise for the shoulders. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the tail, breathe in, cow pose. Exhale, round your back for cat. Yeah, good. Really get into it this Friday. Inhale, lift up, tailbone up. Exhale, round and curl. And then feel free to take any movements through the hips. warming up through the wrists, your neck, and your entire spine here. All right, now that you're neutral, return back to your tabletop and walk your hands forward into your puppy pose. So let everything melt into the ground. Think of keeping the hips up and resting the forehead, rest your palms. See if you can let go and surrender a little more, just opening up. On the inhale, lower the chest, come forward and then inhale for cobra pose, lift. So you found that slither forward and then once you're in cobra, you can start to move. Yes, looking over the right shoulder, the left shoulder. And at Fridays, we typically tend to focus on back bends just to really kind of undo the week. Exhale, lower all the way down. Take the strap, towel, whatever you've been using, wrap it around the tops of your feet. Are you ready? And then take the hands up above your head and start to move into your full or bow. I know it's early on in class, but just start to and then lean into it, breathe in. Feet into the strap. One more breath. Good, release. Release the strap and then start to windshield wiper the legs. Move them side to side. And then circle your shins around in a full motion. And then go the other direction. Really kind of loosening up the low back there. All right, let's try it without the strap. Take the hands to the feet, exhale out all the air, and then inhale, moving into a floor bow. So starting off pretty active already. Start to breathe. Keep pressing the feet back. Yes, good, you guys. And slowly release the legs, tuck the toes, lift up into your downward facing dog. Once you're in your down dog, start to feel out the legs. See if you can pedal it out. Yeah, if a child's pose feels better to you right now, go ahead. 
if down dog feels nice, you can really bend the knees one at a time or together. Do what feels good. And then find some stillness in your down dog. And think of pointing the chest towards the kneecaps as you really lift the hips back. Yeah. And then lower just a bit more lift through the hips. Yeah. Good. Equally, everyone equally distribute your weight between your hands and the feet. So just as much weight in the legs as the hands. Doing good. One more breath. Exhale, release. Good. Send the right leg high to the sky. And then from there, open up the hip and begin to take your hip circles. So just go slow here. Stabilize the arm and try to really keep it straight. And then exhale, step the right foot in between the palms. Lower the left knee, take a hold of the strap. And then inhale, reach and circle the arms up above you. And then find some alignment between the hands, the underarms, ribs, and hips. Yes, so stand tall on that right knee. Exhale, bend deeper into the right knee. As you take the elbows back, you go post arms behind you. Yes, Ooh, good, good, Lori, that's it. Inhale, peel back, lift up, arms up. Exhale, pull the elbows down, lean into the hips. Yes, yeah, good. Feel free to look up if you can. Inhale, arms up. Last one, exhale, deepen this back bend. All right, inhale, neutralize the spine. Then exhale, forward, lean forward into your half splits. But this time, hook the strap around your right foot, please. And then as much as you can, walk your right heel forward as you draw the right elbow back and you pull vigorously into your strap. So really finding this stretch, it's an assisted half splits stretch here with the strap. Use your left hand to stabilize you and your strap to point the toes higher up. And make sure this feels right in your knees, in your hips. You might need to scoot the right hip, right foot to the side. Hang tight there, keep breathing. You wanna bend the right elbow a lot so you can really get into that stretch. Nice, you guys. And then plant the right foot, release the strap, please. Bend the right knee. Strap is still in the right hand. Take it up and over and hook your left foot in to the strap now. You got options. You can lift your elbow, right elbow up to the sky, or you can turn the palm out so you're kind of getting more into the hip flexor. Yeah, so just feel out what is nice for you there. Yeah, good Brad. That's it, nice Avi. So elbow up is more of the quad and hip flexor, and then elbow out is a bit more of that twist and spinning of the chest. Yeah, good. One last breath there. And then softly release your strap, plant your palms, find your pyramid pose. All right, so walk your right foot a little more center as you find this pyramid pose, right foot down, left heel down. Take a few breaths there. One last breath. And then stay present, bend the right knee, inhale, rise up, warrior one. This time, hug the ribs in so it's less of a back bend and more strength. So picture yourself in a handstand here, arms are super straight. Yeah, good, ribs in more, Avi, just a little more. Good, one more breath. Exhale. Take the hands to the earth, lift the right leg high, and then exhale, flow through your chaturanga or head straight to down dog. You can add your three-legged chaturanga if you like. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing. 
Good work. Inhale the left leg high, so evening it out. Bend the knee, start to circle out the knee. Yeah, feel free to kind of explore the body. The right arm may want to bend here, but keep it straight. Good. And then softly place your left foot in between the hands, the thumbs. Lower the right knee. And then take a hold of your strap. Lift it up. And find your, your distance between the feet, between your hips. Yeah, very nice. All right, take a deep breath in, widen the arms if you need, and then exhale, bend into the elbows, take the strap behind you as you lower into the left knee. Good, inhale, lift up, push the left foot away. Exhale, back bend. Feel free to enjoy the openness, inhale up. Last one, exhale, into your back bend. Use the resistance of the strap. Really lean into it. Use it. Good. Inhale, lift up. Find your balance. When you're ready, straighten the left leg and wrap the strap around your left foot. Find it towards the ball line of your left foot, please, if possible. That would be the most effective. Lower the right hand while you hold on to the strap with your left foot. So if you need a visual, make sure you stack your hips and your right knee and keep drawing your chest forward while you pull back on the strap. So there's this forward motion in the spine and a pull back motion in the, in the toes. If that's intense for the hamstrings, give yourself a break, but really try to lean into it. So we're playing with the active um, and passive stretching for now we'll keep moving forward in a little. One last breath. Good, release the strap, take the left foot on the ground, and then inhale, lift the left arm up, take a hold of the strap into the right foot. And then here is your time to explore what kind of sensation you want in the right leg, all right? Your elbow pointing up, I'm showing you the back view here, so elbow pointing up will get deeper into the, the really kind of thick area of the quad where the quad and the hip flexor connect. Or if you want to spin the chest, open up the hand to the left side and then just let the chest open up. So that's like a little bit of an assisted twist slash um, quad stretch. So breathe, find what feels good to you. Yeah. This is also strengthening your right arm. Good, really nice, you guys. And then softly release the back foot, plant the hands, release the strap for now, find your pyramid pose. And kind of noticing how different some of these poses are depending on the day, depending on what you did this week, how you're feeling, maybe even your hydration levels. So keep breathing. And then when you're ready, rise up to your warrior one pose. Lift up. And then think of the space that you created there in that front right hip. And then see if you can walk your left foot to the side a little more to the left side so you can get a little deeper into the knee. Stay strong in the arms as if you're still holding the strap. Yes. Very good, right heel down. Yeah, nice, one more breath. And then exhale, release the hands. Inhale, step back. Exhale, down dog or chaturanga, yogi's choice. Take your time with these. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Very good. All right, from here, you have two options. You can go into puppy pose, lower the knees, or go into dolphin pose. So we've been really working on opening up the shoulders. Stay here for about five breaths, a little intermission. Dolphin or puppy pose. The only difference is your knees down. All right, keep pressing the legs straight. If 
here in Dolphin. Look, look down and back and up towards the belly button if you're in Dolphin. You won't be able to see it, but aim your gaze up and back. One last breath. Nice work. Lower the knees. Inhale, lift up for your cow pose on the fingertips. Lengthen. Exhale, round your back. So hopefully you feel a lot more open than when we started. Inhale, lift the, the gaze, tail. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Keep the strap at the top. We'll be using it. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, step forward. Take the strap with you. Rise up to crescent lunge. All right, we're building on, kind of, you know, building the foundation from, from the start to now. All right, crescent lunge, bend the right knee, little bend in the left as well. Arms straight, good. Full breath in, exhale, strap behind you, arms back, double lunge. If you don't have a strap, you can still do this. It's a little easier with a strap. Inhale, stand up. Two more, exhale, bend, relax the shoulders. Yes, support your weight, you guys. Inhale up, last one, exhale, hover. Good, 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 so strong. Inhale, stand up. This time, lean forward. Keep the right leg straight, just lean. Arms forward like you're pushing the wall away. Yeah, so strong, guys. And give it a rest pyramid. Let go of the strap and then inhale the right hand high. Maybe you want to try this pose with the strap. Maybe not. It's kind of cool to explore your props. Either way, just revolve triangle here. Yeah, good. I see that your, your guys' spine has unlocked more. Lori, walk the right hand above the shoulder, so a little more forward with the thumb. Yes, yes, there we go. Exhale, fold. Listen carefully. Take the strap into your right hand, please. All right, and then rise up, standing splits. So this is similar to what we did earlier. Left hand is supporting you. Right hand has a strap. Then hook your left foot into the strap, please. As you take this, the fist, right fist over the right shoulder, if you need a, to look, look up here. If this is too tangled for you, lower the left knee and go into that half slip. Bear with me as you keep holding the stretch. Yes, yes, Caitlin, exactly. You got it, Avi. It's okay to bend the right knee, everyone. And then slowly release the strap, left toes back, Rise up into crescent lunge. Good, that was very challenging. Stay with it. Good, breathe in. Take the hands to your heart space. No strap this time. And then twist. Left elbow to the right thigh. You're likely starting to warm up a lot. If you want to lower the left knee, that's good too. And then yearn the sternum towards the thumbs here. Try to Try to really focus on the pose. I know that right hamstring's working. Good, one last breath. Your release is warrior two with the left knee. So turn around, find your, find your warrior two left knee. So it's like a big burst open towards the left. Take a few moments here in your warrior two. You could straighten the legs, straighten the arms, look up. Do this for a few times. Sorry for showing you the back view. All right, warrior two. And then inhale, reverse warrior. Lift up. If you want, you can bend the left elbow just like the beginning. Bend the right elbow with or without your strap. Maybe you're open enough to where you can grasp the fingertips. Look up at the screen if you need a visual. Keep breathing there. Stay with it. One more breath. Exhale, extended side angle, and find your variation. For more of a core and back workout, strength, 
you reach the arms forward. For more focus on the breath, lower the elbow to your thigh. So one more breath here. Still looking really good, everyone. Nice, get like reverse triangle, lift up. And exhale to a triangle pose to the front. Try to look for the floor or your shin and then look up. Are there, just notice, is there more openness in the shoulders from when we started class? Just keep paying attention to that. All right, inhale, reverse warrior, lift up. Take the strap in the right hand, right? We're gonna move, exhale to your half moon. Strap in the right hand. If you want, from your half moon, Hook the strap around your right foot and find your Chopasana, whoa, <laughs> Chopasana variation. So you might need to readjust, but then your right hand will be on your hip here. Yeah, good, you guys. That's it. Yes. That's it, Lori. Yeah, you got it. Nice breath. All right, one more breath. And then softly release. Reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. Take it home. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work, you guys. Thank you for listening. Moving on. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, step forward. And take the strap with you. Inhale, left side crescent lunge. So sometimes moving at a slow pace kind of helps you settle in. Sometimes it's a lot harder too. So just take time to take a break if you need. If you're still with us, just keep going. Okay, really refined legs here. Refine the spine. Nice, you guys, one more breath. All right, strap behind you. Exhale, double bend your knee and then take the strap back, elbows bent. Whew, good. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower, bend. It's up to you how low you wanna go. Good, inhale. Exhale, last one, bend. Doing good, inhale, straighten. Exhale, lean forward. Strengthening the spine here. Think of this as like a, a pull up, but horizontal. Yeah. Right heel is up, you guys. One more breath. Exhale, softly land to your mid. Relax all your muscles. Take a few breaths here. And then when you're ready, inhale the left arm high for your revolved triangle pose. And then if you can, stack your right wrist under the right shoulder. Yeah, 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 there. And then try to straighten the left leg. Make it happen by widening the stance. And then from there, stacking the left hand over the left shoulder. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just try. Good, one more breath. Exhale, release the hands down. Look for the strap in your left hand, all right? Bend, bend into the left knee. Find your standing splits, right hand on the floor or the block. From here, standing splits, take a hold of the strap around the right foot. So think of this as we've done all these shapes already, but now you're doing it on your foot rather than your knee. Yes, yes. Your joints can handle it. Just make sure you're aligned. Yes, you guys, so strong. Try to point the belly button down if you can. Ooh, yeah, good. And then softly release the right toes back. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Then exhale, warrior two to the right side. Like so, warrior two. No strap for now. 
and then if you did the straightening and the bending of the knees, maybe you want to hook the thumbs, getting into the underarms more. Just let that heat permeate through your body. Yes. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Take your time. And then you can take a hold of the hand or the strap. Just be nice to the muscles, the connective tissues. Try not to yank anything, just breathe. Look down and back if you want, more space. Exhale, extended side angle. Good. Breathe, you guys, this is so good. And then float the arm, a bind, elbow down, whatever feels nice to you. Just try to lean the chest back in line with the left leg. Good, really strong core, everyone. Inhale, reverse triangle, lift up and back. Exhale to your triangle pose. Similar to revolved triangle, but now your chest is open. So you see how the arms are both stacked? It's that same effect you're trying to get. Lean the head in line with the rest of the neck and spine and the sacrum. Inhale, reverse warrior. Take the strap into your left hand. And then slowly transition into half moon. Look for the floor, the block, and then lift the left leg up. Try not to rush into this. When you want, you can hook your left foot into your strap. Finding your chopasana variation, which means the knee is pointed back to the opposite direction as your right knee. So right knee forward, left knee back. Bend the right knee a little if you need. Yeah, very nice. Hold steady. Beautiful. And softly release. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga, all the way down. We'll meet in downward facing dog on the time here. Great. And downward facing dog is where we'll meet. From your down dog, lower down to the knees. Find your first child's pose of class. Sit the hips back and rest the forehead down. If you want, if you're really liking what we're going with the hands and the arms, connect your hands at the center and then bend your elbows, finding your thumb to the back of the neck. Stay here for a few breaths, just catching yourself. Noticing if there's anything going on today that you want to let go of. Slowly release the hands down, lift up, and then take the forearms into the ground for your forearm plank. So we're going to move on, we're going to add on forearm plank. Press the chest away, open up through the collarbone, lift your knees, lengthen the back of the neck, just stabilize the hips. One final breath here. Exhale, lower the knees. Tabletop. Inhale, lift the chest for cow. Exhale, round the chest for cat. Okay, so where we're gonna go next is you have a few different options. So you can go into layer one boat pose, layer two crow pose, or if you want to tag along here, just take a look. So we're gonna find our headstand which is our supported headstand. Start to lift up. And then we're gonna try a bent knee and a bent knee. 
So this top knee is going to try to bend as much as it can, kind of like what we've been doing. If you don't want to get upside down, let's go for crow. And if you have a strap, you can wrap the strap around your arms. So I'll show that one. Yeah, that's it, Caitlin. You gotta go really, yeah, everyone goes slow if you're inverting. Beautiful. All right, for crow, wrap the strap around your arms, forearms, here. If you have this kind of strap, like I do, make sure it's about shoulder width distance. And then Sometimes people find the strap to be easier for crow. If you're doing a headstand, try both legs, please. Yeah, Lori, that's it. Yep. Yes, you got it. So good. If you want to turn your screen on, I think Brad, you could probably work on crow to handstand with that strap, please, if you can. Trying it. Good. And don't worry if this is just not your jam. We're gonna move on. Alright, so not not too long from now we're gonna move on. You can hang out in that child's pose with your hands to the nape of the neck. Yes. Good. Good, you guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, loving the tripods. Yes. I wish I could take a picture. <laughs> All right. Slowly have a seat in your child's pose. Really nice. We're going to not be upside down for the rest of class, unless you want to. All right. Rise up, tabletop, and then downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Exhale into your, into the top of your mat. You can handstand, hop, float, walk. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up, rise up, chair pose with the strap. And then just take this strap behind you to the sacrum. And then bring it back up over the shin. One more time. Inhale up to the sacrum and then inhale up, exhale to the shin. Good, now that we have that glute stability, stand up on the left knee. I mean, stand up with the left knee out. Wrap the strap around your left foot. Just breathe. When you've caught your balance, start to extend the leg if you want. I'm using both hands today, so it's kind of nice. Then, remember when you were on your knees, press the strap away and pull the strap in. You guys, for that hamstring, can you feel that? So pull the strap in to the ball of the foot and equally engage the quad. This is the same pose that we did on the knee. One final breath. Keep the strap in your hands, warrior three. Just let the leg Go back. Maybe arms forward if you really want a little more strength. Inhale, bring yourself back up, arms up. Exhale, back bend. And neutralize the spine. Release into chair for a moment. Have the shins touch the strap. Find your space and then lift up with the right knee. Hold on to the knee at first, no rush at all. And then take a hold of the strap around the right ball mound of your foot, whoa. <laughs> and begin to extend. It's okay to be wobbly here, just struggle with balance, every day is different. Then you pull the, sh the chest upright so you have that good posture. If the let right knee is bent, that's all good. No worries, but just try to push the strap away and pull it with the arms. 
two more breaths. Breathe. Left glute is really strong here. One last. Exhale, release. Into your warrior three. Maybe relax the arms for now, no worries. Or arms forward. Good, all right, feet up, I mean rather, hands up, feet down, breathe in. And exhale, back bend. Let go of the strap, won't be needing it for now. Inhale, lift the left knee up. Exhale into your half, I mean, your figure four. Just notice how it feels to balance even those strap. Just use your hips pulling back to open up the left hip. Concentrate your mind into the shape and the feeling and the breath. And inhale, left knee up. Exhale, back down to chair. One last side. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, release into your figure four. Keep breathing. And softly, right knee up. Exhale release. What one last balancing pose with the strap. Take your strap around your left foot and then find your dancer's pose. You can send your elbows up just like I'm doing here or you can place your strap above the left shoulder like a backpack. No rush. Yes, Avi, that's beautiful. Keep breathing, everyone. Yeah. Great hip positioning, Lori. That's it, yep. And then very softly release. Shake it out if you need. And then into the right side. Good. Lift up into dancer's pose. Really good. No need to really force. Just make sure the lumbar spine feels supported. And it's more in the quad opening and the mid back. So nothing too much in the lumbar. So just observe where the limits are. Is it in your quad, in your back? Yeah, good. Or the arms, <laughs> good. All right, let it go softly. You guys are so amazing. Walk the feet wide. Let go of the strap, inhale. Exhale, fold the knees. Ooh, good, shake it out, move side to side. You did so good, that was a very challenging class so far. We're gonna do one more thing and then relax, okay? from here, lower down to your seat, please. Extend the legs forward. Just move side to side if you need. Take the strap with you. And then widen the feet more, actually, and exhale. Strap into the ball line of the feet and then bring yourself down. Just counterbalancing all the back bends. You don't need to fold in half. Just whatever feels good. Yeah, one more breath. Nice. All right, lift yourself up on an inhale and then cross the legs, have a seat. When you can, take the elbows down and then find either a child's pose, a puppy pose, or a scorpion pose. Okay, so I'll show you here. We did a lot of the knee bending action. Lift up, bend the top knee, 
same knee bending. Oh, one more second. And then eventually both knees will lift. Okay, so that's a lot. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. Use a wall and then I'm here with you all in the child's pose and the puppy pose. Also thread the needle. The other hand coming underneath feels really good. Nice. That's it, Brad. Yeah, bend the knees a lot more. And then chest comes through. Good. If you're in thread the needle like me, just keep breathing. And then Caitlin, bring the chest forward more. The other way to the wall. <laughs> yeah, next time. And then if you're in thread the needle, switch sides, left hand towards the right. Enjoy this thread the needle pose. We're here with you. Bring both hands down. Everyone take your time. If you're still doing something, go ahead. And then we'll all go into your pigeon pose. Don't feel rushed. Just do what you want to do. Right side pigeon. And for Pincha and Scorpion, it's the most important thing is to slow down. So maybe after class we can play with it some more. <laughs> nice work. That was beautiful. Nice lose. Good. All right, pigeon pose on the right. It's been it's been a fun class. We've done a lot. All right, you can do what Caitlin's doing with the king pigeon, going along with the theme today. Or if you're kind of ready to rest, just rest the elbows down. And then you just give yourself so much grace for and kind of like encouragement and celebration for coming to your mat. I know it's a pretty tough time of year, so just thank yourself for always carving out the space because that's important for you. And then release the hands, please. Inhale, rise up. Tuck the left toes, send the right leg up. Anything you want to do here, go ahead. And exhale, release into your other side, pigeon pose. And of course, with anything in your yoga journey, it's just all about practice, just doing it many times. Breathe through this stretch. And then very slowly arise onto the hands, tuck the right toes, send the left leg up, shake it out, circle it out. And then descend into your feet, into your knees and eventually onto your back. If you have blocks, it would be great to use them. If you don't have them, no worries. From here, lay down, point the ceiling, knees up to the ceiling, and we'll all find either a bridge pose or a supported bridge. If you have a block, place the block at your sacrum and give yourself a break. If you are in a regular bridge pose, interlace the hands under you so you have your support. If you would like to take a wheel pose, that's there for you too. The wheel pose is available. Just one more breath there. And then slowly <laughs> let it go everyone. And take the strap. We are going to end up in a very kind of soothing stretch here. Strap around your right foot. Well, well deserved time on your back now. 
bend on the knee into the chest and then exhale straighten the right leg up bend the right knee and extend the right leg and then turn the right toes to about two o'clock and then let your right leg fall to the right side and you can help yourself by holding the strap in the left hand holding the strap in the right hand so it's like you're holding it like an arrow a little bit. Then when you can, inhale, lift the right knee up. Find your supine twist, still with the strap. And right hand out, right gaze to the right. Inhale, everything back in. And we'll take the left foot in, the right leg down. A few times here, bend the left knee. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Good, and then inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten, turn the toes to about 10, 11 o'clock, and then let the left leg go to the left side. It's funny because not a lot of us have like those analog clocks anymore. I have to really think like where on the clock those times. Good, one more breath. And then inhale, lift the left knee up. Take the leg across, left arm out, supine twist. Very nice. Inhale everything back in. And then just wrap your arms around your shins. Rock side to side. If you want a happy baby, it's there for you. You can use this drop. And then when you're ready, lay all the way down into a Shavasana. Just let your whole body rest here. Take a deep breath in. Cleanse and exhale out. Good. Breathe in. Exhale out. And just relax. start to soften the face. And just take one nourishing inhale here. And then one cleansing exhale out. And when you're ready, start to awaken fingers and toes, wrists and your ankles. Inhale, arms up and softly roll over towards the left side. And then arise onto your seat. You can roll the shoulders up and down in the neck. Checking in with your body, how you're feeling in this moment, the space you've been able to create physically, mentally. And inhale, lift the arms up. And then take the thumbs to your heart space. We thought for staying in our practice. From my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you all so much. Um, that was lovely work. We did a lot of work. It's like a massage for your